I wanted to come on here quick and just talk about a project that I have been working on for the last three weeks. It is a documentary wedding film. I wanted to create something different besides all the other wedding films that I have been making. I wanted to do a sit down interview with the bride and groom a couple weeks before the wedding, ask them a few questions on, you know, what are they most excited about on their wedding date? What are they looking forward to? Are they going to be nervous? And um, so my main objective for this film was to make something that looked like an Amazon slash Netflix documentary. My name is Eric Johnson. Today is May 10th. And in two weeks and two days, I am marrying the love of my life, Jana Lee Frederick, soon to be Johnston. She's changing it. I'm making her. <laughs> I knew almost instantly that she was the one. I say a few ways that I tackled this documentary film was to, when I had them sitting down to do the interview piece, I asked them questions. And then with the answers that they gave me, I overlapped with what I shot on the wedding day. So for an example, Eric is talking about, he's most excited for the first look that they're gonna do. Um, and then when he's talking about that, that's when I overlapped with the first look. It only makes sense to do it like that because you want people to engage in the video. You don't wanna bore people. Obviously the first time I'm gonna see Jana in her wedding dress is a big one. We are, we're doing a first look as you do. Uh, and I'll be crying for that. And uh, and then when she walks down the aisle, I'm sure I'm gonna cry. And when I do my speech, I'm sure, could be a lot of crying uh, that day. What I'm most excited about is to show everyone how happy I am. He's an emotional, an emotional being, so I'm sure he'll shed a tear too. <laughs> I can hear her. <laughs> I'm already crying. <laughs> <laughs> He's so beautiful. I love you so much. <laughs> you have to shake so much. No, I just, you have to shake it off. <laughs> Some folks really don't listen much Only give it one way You can tell it to me And I've sang a bunch And I've talked enough So this is my time to listen up yeah. You got something to say Well go on, tell it to me Say what you I didn't want to make things boring The way I did that was obviously input in this interview piece, kind of taking away from that wedding ceremony reception vibe and bringing it home to make a little bit more touching, to make it a little bit more, to feel a little bit more welcoming and to make you feel like you're actually there instead of just showing a whole bunch of clips of their wedding date. Now, some people do things different by all means, um, but yeah, so all the equipment that I used for this was uh, Red Komodo, um, I was on the Red Komodo, the second shooter, Frank, he was on the A7 IV with the Tamron 30 or 35 to 150. I forget which, which lens it is. Actually, I got it right here. So this is the Tamron 35 to 150. And I got to say, this is a game changer lens. Um, it saved us through so many times during the wedding date. The only thing is that this is an F2 to 2.8. So when you start at 35, it starts at a two. Now, when you zoom in, it starts changing. So your, your image is going to get darker. But what I would suggest is just to keep it at 2.8. So then when you're zooming through, your image isn't going to change and you have a constant aperture during the whole time of when you're zooming in. Um, I would highly recommend this lens if you are getting into filmmaking or if you are shooting weddings, this lens will save you so much time. So now getting back to this wedding documentary film, um, like I said, I wanted to do something different, something that's going to stand out from all my other films and just to give it a little different perspective on the bride and groom's wedding date. Film isn't fully done. It's probably gonna be aiming just over 20 minutes. Uh, if you guys are interested, press that notification button so you guys are aware of when that film's gonna get posted. And until then, we'll see you guys on the next video.